I gave him five hundred dollars, two beers, and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to call me when I got for it. What was his name? Andrew or something like that. What's going on, y'all? This is Brandon, aka the Port City Attorney. Today we're gonna be reacting to a video titled "Cop Tries to Shut Off Body Cam Over Personal Issue." Hey. Dang, I need new tires. How you doing besides this? Besides this, we're doing good. So what's going on? Well, my mother-in-law got a call, said the horse was out, and the guy put it in and said, it looked like the gate been hit. So I thought, I better oh, come over and it. check it. Well, the gate been hit. They stole my camper set right there. Jesus, okay. You see where they came out, they went that way. Who's in the vehicle with you? Get the car off. Put the car off. Put the keys on the dash. Put the keys on the dash. Is anybody in the back? I thought, you, I thought you were trying to pull him over. No. Hey, step out. Step out, put your hands on the car. Hand me a hand. I'm getting tamed at this moment. Hey, gal, go ahead and step out for me. What, what am I being pulled over for? <laughs> this trailer showing stolen. Oh, I didn't steal it. Okay, well that's what you got pulled over for. Well, that's why you're detained, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, I don't know. so just give us a minute. Sure, me to do. This guy, this guy said I could stay in this trailer right here. I don't know nothing about it. All right, well we're trying to get your ID. We're gonna walk back here. And we're gonna have a seat in my car for just a minute, and we're gonna get this figured out. Understood? All right. All right. So obviously, real quick, probable cause to pull him over was that the gentleman in the beginning stated that his trailer was stolen. It's a huge trailer with a wrap on it, so very easy to spot. So the reason why they're being detained is they're suspected of stealing a trailer, which is probably some sort of a felony larceny based on the value of the trailer. Male driver, female passenger. Turn off the body cam. Are you recording? Yeah, we're hot. Turn it off. We can't shut it down. We got 1015s. I just shut my mind. Huh? It's okay. Everything good? Just shut it down for a second. Or somebody shut it down and talk to me. I cannot stand. It's probably one of the things that make my blood boil the most is when cops try to shut off their body cams. They're there for a reason. Right. And obviously you've got an issue. I really hope that these officers have some intestinal fortitude and don't turn their cameras off. Turn it off. We can't shut this shit off, dude. Just, I don't give a Put it on my foot or something. I need to talk to somebody real quick. Okay. Is there something screwed up with the case or is it something personal? It's personal? Okay. Okay. All right, we'll handle that. That's not a problem. That's personal, we'll handle that. That's no, okay. nothing to do with the case. All right, hop out for me, man. This is the deputy in charge of this case, and he's going to speak with you for a moment, okay? okay. Can I help you? You got it? Yeah. You, the, I'm assuming it's your trailer? Yeah. Well, hang out with hang us for just a second. Yeah, just hang out here for just a little bit. I want to be able to speak to them before they leave. Well, that'll be up to the deputy that's running it. But we got her. Mr. Carterwright, yeah. do you wish to speak to me on the matters of this case? Um, what do you want to know? Well, that's what I'm, you got to ask her my question first about wishing to speak to me or not. You got rights. I'm going to read you your rights. Okay. Do you wish to speak to me? Yeah. Okay. His name is Alvin. Or, he worked at a barbecue place across the street from mm -hmm. Dale from the gas station. Right. Uh, I read it. I read it that camper. We were going. I didn't call the camper place. Place that right down the road. That's where we were headed. Okay. And that's all I know. All right, and so how did you get the camper in your possession? Go with a little bit more detail about that. Because he had it there at the gas station. I gave him $500, and he told me $500 a month, and I could rent it. I, he, I gave him my phone number. You gave him what? My phone number. Your phone number? And $500. Did, he get, did you get his phone number? No, but he works across the street from the gas station. So did he get your driver's license? No. Wouldn't that be kind of funny? No, I, I don't know the area that well. I mean, you don't? You worked across the street. I mean, right. I, I thought it would be legit, right? Legit? I, I've never been approached by a man at a gas station offering to rent me no, a. He was working across the street. He came across the street for lunch, and I talked mm -hmm. to him for about an hour. Right. There's some camera up there. Well, where are you headed now? 
Panama City. Panama City? Yeah. Panama City ain't that way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is not. Well, I'm going the wrong I'm not from here. I don't know. I got you, but Panama City is not that way. Panama City is about that way. Well, I'm going the wrong way. And then you got to go north, or uh, excuse me, south. I was going the wrong way. So. Did you get on your body camera? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk to her now. You going to talk to her? Yeah. You 1015? I mean, obviously, I'm 1015 on him already. Yeah, he's 1015 for sure. All right. This, this, this the owner. Yeah, it's Billy. What, what we're going to do is let him just come get it. Yeah, i got to photograph and stuff quick and all that, and we'll, we'll work it out. We'll do that. You want me to get him onto the jail for the warrant, and then you got a statement? I'm going to go back and talk to him one more time. Okay. See if I'm going to talk that. to her. You got something to go get for this thing? Let's go get it and then come back. Yeah, yeah. Hey, partner. Yeah, I have stage four cancer. There's no air conditioner. I'll ask him to turn it on. I'm sorry, man. Mr. Carter, I need you to be 110% honest with me because both your stories ain't lining up. Well, tell me what's going on. You tell me what's going on. I just told you. I stopped at the gas station. I'm going to be real with you. I said it's impossible. I don't buy the gas station story. I gave him $500, two beers, and cigarettes. Mm hmm. And he's supposed to call me when I got for it. $500, two beers, and some cigarettes is a steal for that trailer. I bet that's a $10,000 trailer. I don't know the cost of trailers. That's just an assumption. That's a steal. And what was his name? Andrew or something like that. Uh, Andrew. Man, I had stage four tonight. I'm going to put your cuffs in the front, all right? Look at me. Please. Look at me. I got it. Okay, I'm honest with you. Look at me. I want you to look at me. I'm gonna put them in the front. If you try anything stupid, don't. I don't want you texting nobody. I just want you to pull up this number. All right. Just his number. That's it. Nothing else. All right. I'm not gonna do nothing. I don't remember. It's dead. What? It's dead. It's dead. It's not coming on. Let me see. Hey, Wag. You got a C-type charger in your car? There's one in my van. Can you charge up his phone for me, please? I don't know. I ain't worried about her. I hey. wouldn't worry about that girl. Does she have anything to do with this trailer at all? Be real with me. No, she, she, was, she knows what the information on it, though, because she was with me the second trip. Is your car unlocked? She knows a black dude. Ask her if they, ask her if she knows somebody named Andrew. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, That's right. Sit right now. You need to come clear me because he's out there saying you were involved. Involved with what? Taking that trailer off that man's property. I had nothing to do with that. I don't. I swear to God. Okay. Did you meet anybody today with him at all? No. You don't know anybody named Andrew. No. Black guy no. at a gas station. No. You got a bug on you. That might fall off. Yeah. No, I don't. You buddy. Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Carter. All right. Now uh, we're gonna stop me. All right. We're gonna no. quit around playing games. I'm going to get serious with you because she's over there telling me a whole different story than what you got. Blue smoking on my car now. Just stand up right there. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? I understand. I'll tell you the truth. Oh my, oh my God. Why do you got two different stories? Because she's a fucking crackhead. Right? <laughs> Hey man, it takes one to know one. Uh, hey, they're turning on each other. I love it. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. I told you the truth on my guy. To her? She's a crackhead. She don't even it's know locked. It. She's delusional. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? She's getting away from Do what? She's delusional. She's a fucking crackhead. I just met her last night. Yeah, she confirmed that. She also said last night she said you were going to go out and get a camper, and you showed up one this morning. So. Uh, you want to back up a little bit and restart your story and talk to me, or are you going to keep with me? No, I'm not bullshitting you. I told you the truth, and I'm sticking with you. Okay. All right, have a seat for me now. Really crazy. I promise on God. That might be the one truth that he has told during this entire interview. Um, although he did say he was allowed to have the plumbing truck. Interesting. I don't think he's telling a whole lot of truths, but that one might be. I mean, people like to do recreational things. Oh, I don't find that too hard to believe. Well, I went to go find a whore, and I found her. So is that how you met her last night? Don't, don't do this. If you're, if you're suspected of committing a crime, please don't admit to additional crimes because he said he was looking for a lady of the night. He acquired a lady of the night and they're about to ask him if he paid for her. So then they might get him for soliciting prostitution on top of that. Prostitute? No. 
Uh, that's what a whore is. I was finding a girlfriend. You said a whore. That's what a well, whore is. A prostitute. Yeah, prostitute you pay for. That's what I'm saying. I didn't pay for that. No, no. Sluts not... give it out. Whores you got to pay for. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I misspoke. I was trying to find a girlfriend. Okay. How about, guy? We're going to walk up here real quick. going to have a group group palaver. All right. Oh. Why are you bringing them together? Why are you still on the side of the road? Where's the tow truck? Where's the additional units blocking the road off? What are we doing here? Why are we asking people to turn our body cams off? How many agencies were initially involved? Where's the trailer? All of this is just baffling to me. I brought both of you together. Tell her who she met at the gas station. Did we not meet a dude named Andrew at the gas station? Wasn't it Andrew? Briefly, there was a guy, yeah, that we met. Look, if I'm this woman's attorney, I'm going to say that, hey, look, he is trying to intimidate her, trying to get her to change the story, and the cops are facilitating this. This is very out of the ordinary. They typically don't detain people, separate them, and then bring them back together on the side of the road. Uh, typically, you would do, you know, an interview room down at the station or something like that. I, I don't necessarily like how this traffic stops going. You, you and you, he had talked to. I didn't really... Mm -hmm. Where did he work at? What about him? Where did he work at? He had McDonald's. Um, was it McDonald's? Yeah. It was great. Huh? It was great though, right? I don't remember. I thought it was a barbecue place across the street. I don't know. I don't right, know. right. I don't know. Okay. Uh, continue. I'm working. I went back uh, to buy We got the vans, got to go back to Panama City. I gave we went to get beer. From where? We've seen the Andrew guy at the store, and then we went back to the house. Very good. Right. You know something? I'm going to be real with both of you. You're both bad fucking liars, okay? Because a minute ago, you never seen a black man, never heard of him by name Andrew. And I don't really know him. here we are. He just laid you right in the questions you agreed with him. That's all I wanted to prove. That was some no, it's, it's bullshit. No, but I don't know what he's got to do with it. Who's what? Why does Andrew have anything to do with anything? I think I know yeah. everybody, but I don't. All right, walk back to the car, yeah. All right, that's all I needed to see. You can have a seat back. Bring your feather butt down. Can I have, I have nothing No, you may sit in the car, please. We're going. We're, all right, I got you. We're going to try to do the phone thing quick. All right. Maybe you got enough to look through your phone quick. You got Andrew's number? Can I have a cigarette? I'm not going to play the game. I'll just take the phone from you. We'll call it a day. I don't really give a shit. All right, sit in the car. I, mean, I really don't know what to say. Sit in the car. I'm wearing a helmet. Then give me the number. Me you ain't going to blackmail me for a cigarette. You sit in the car. That's what that is. You're, that's what you're doing. Sit. You can put your legs in the car or I can charge you resistance without. The level of professionalism with this officer, I believe this is the same officer that asked them to turn off the body cam, is disturbing. I hope that he was reprimanded. Just the tenor of this conversation. I mean, look, I curse all the time. I know when to turn it off and turn it on. There's appropriate times to do it and appropriate times not to. I don't know. The level of professionalism is, is pretty astounding at this point. Every, every day above ground, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't even know who Andrew is, you know. But a minute ago, you said you didn't talk to nobody at the gas station. I didn't really talk to him. And I said Andrew. But you were in the car, and you could have said, oh, yeah, so I he did talk to some guy. I, okay, I didn't. And before, you weren't even at the gas station. You stayed asleep and come back and picked you up. I didn't know that this was even an issue. I don't know what All right, that let, let, let me break it down for you. Ready? That camper is stolen. Stolen. I gathered that, and I okay. don't have anything to do with it, though. I have nothing to do with that camper. I have nothing to do Did with that. Did you see where camper. he picked it up from? Just be no, real with me. I really didn't know that. I, have not, I didn't I see him pick up the camper. Uh, okay. That, that's all I'm trying to figure out. If you have something to do with it, so I can let you loose. And if you I, are I honest with me, I can work with you the best I can. I have nothing to do with that camper. I don't know what he's trying to do. Yeah, he's trying to say you were there all, the whole time now. Well, I've been with him. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I didn't get the trailer with him. Is okay. he saying that? Because I don't know yes. anything yes. about that. upsets me because I have nothing to do with that. We got together. Okay. Subverted on that one. Do what? Subverted here. One more one more time over there and I'm done. Okay. I'm talking to him. Hey, Mom. Come here. All right. I'm starting to break it down. Okay, cool. All right. All right, Mr. Carter, one more time. I'm going to give you one more chance, then I'm going to take you to jail. Because right now I'm not buying a damn word you're saying. You understand me? She said she woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. You already had the trailer in your possession. She was lying. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting used to that. Is there anything you want to change or add to this story? I told you the whole story. All right. Well, I'm t you're under arrest. 
Bavarian Theft. All right. That's a trailer. Okay. You have no bill of sale. You have no agreement. You have nothing. You don't want to even provide me Andrew's number because you know you don't have it in the phone. I didn't even look in my phone. Because you wanted a cigarette. You're trying to blackmail me for a cigarette. I gave you the opportunity and you were blackmailing me. You see how you shot your, your chances right down the drain? I wasn't blackmailing you. I asked for a cigarette. Do you want to give me that number now? It's hot. Who's the U-Haul? And where were you driving? That truck. That van? Yep. Okay. Well, we're cutting her loose, all right? Because okay. she don't have anything to do with this trailer, right? I mean, I don't have nothing to do with her. No, I'm just asking about her. I, I'm not asking about you. I'm asking about she her. She knows everything I know. Well, she says she don't. She's lying. She knows everything I know. All right. And he didn't say where he got the trailer. He just said, hey, I got a trailer. Let's, let's rock and roll. Let's, let's get out of here. He just said he was going to get one last night and that he'd come in this morning. And, <laughs> and you swear on that? He said that yeah. last night. He's going to go get one. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're good. You're free to go. Okay. Are you? Oh, I, thought, I, thought he took, I thought he took it off. That is my fault. You're free to go, but you're still handcuffed. And you're on the side of the highway in the middle of nowhere. Again, what is going on with this traffic stop? I mean, the, the, are they are these rookie cops? Are they not great? What are we doing here? Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. You know, I'm not a a-hole, all right? <laughs> if you thirsty, man, shit. That ain't nobody need to suffer, all right? We going, all right? All right, well, that stop was not the greatest stop. You're gonna get caught if you're driving a trailer that is very distinct, right? That doesn't belong to you. So, you know, wasn't great to start with from the beginning, but I'm not necessarily uh, surprised by the outcome of the case. He was charged with felony grand theft of a vehicle, wasn't given a bond, which again, isn't super surprising, but a lot of jurisdictions are, are doing away with cash bonds unless you're a violent felon. And I'm not surprised that he was sentenced to three years of probation. Didn't seem like there's any damage. The trailer wasn't gone very long, so there's not gonna be any restitution or anything like that. What do y'all think? Do you think that, you know, a crime like this, felony grand theft of a vehicle, uh, do you think that he should have had some sort of active time? Do you think that the woman should have been charged as an accomplice? And, and, and let me know what you think about the, the conduct of the cops, right? The way that they're speaking to them. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you got to speak on the level of the people uh, that you're dealing with, right? And so I do that as well, where I'll throw in, you know, my normal curse words or just talk normally, right? But do you got to turn that off at a certain point? Do you think that maybe they could have handled this a little bit differently? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. We'll see you next time. Big Verdict.